Chapter 38, Establishing Authority 2. This is where the inner sect disciples reside. Every inner sect disciple has his or her own mansion, while disciples personally taught possess cave mansions. The cave mansions rank much higher than any building. Buildings are man-made, but cave mansions are naturally formed, making the great of the two incomparable. Through the window, Han Yi saw people hustling in the spirit fields, and asked the person next to him, Sister, why are those disciples still busy so late? One sister Shan shook her head and said, They are not disciples, but cleaners from the peak. They failed the sect entrance exams and have chosen to stay and cultivate painstakingly. They will not receive the sect's resource cultivation, they can only earn their living through labor. The sect does provide them with a stipend. Upon hearing this, Han Yi couldn't help but fall silent. Only by becoming an outer sect disciple can one be officially part of the Dragon Sparrow sect. Even if it means being a cleaner, these people are still willing to waste their time here. Familiarize yourself with pure Yang Peak. He'll come to get you tomorrow and bring you to meet the master. After giving this instruction, Sister Shen turned and left. Han Yi stored the Jade token and firmly put the storage ring on his hand. He checked the items inside, finding a porcelain bottle with abstinence pills that could alleviate hunger and a hundred pigeon egg-sized spirit stones that emitted light. It seemed to be quite a substantial sum, likely intended as a welcoming benefit upon joining the sect. From today on, he was an official disciple of pure Yang Peak. Retrieving the map of the Dragon Sparrow sect and the rules of the sect, Han Yi started studying them meticulously. The map, likely drawn in haste, indicated general directions, with many uncharted areas covered in contiguous mountains. On the map, the Dragon Sparrow sect covered at least a hundred thousand miles, a tremendously vast area. But think about it, there are several thousand people on just one principal peak. Wouldn't the sect overall have tens of thousands of disciples? Also, the sect's rules, he had thoroughly read them. He learned what he could and couldn't do. After an initial understanding, Han Yi decided to first take a bath and change clothes. After climbing the mountain today he was drenched in sweat and smelt bad. He couldn't even stand himself. Sister Shen hardly seemed disgusted, her manners truly leaving an impression. Reaching the heavenly pool at the back mountain, he cleaned himself up and changed into a blue Taoist robe. He now felt much cleaner and refreshed. However, as he was coming down the mountain, a few disciples in blue robes appeared in front, circled around him menacingly. Are you the new disciple? Yes, what is it? Hania responded calmly. Dear junior brother, I have an advanced cultivation method here. Would you like to study it? I can sell it to you at a low price. A disciple with a gentle looking face called him brother as if they were close. One don't have any spirit stones. Han Yi refused politely. As for such dubious cultivation methods, he didn't need to bother with them. Sister Shen had told him that Elder Guy would be teaching him about cultivation methods tomorrow. It was clear that these guys were just trying to con him of his money. He had seen to many of these schemes in his previous life. You should have obtained spirit stones from Sister Shen, aren't they in your storage ring? How can you claim to have no money? I don't need this particular cultivation method. Han Yi clarified. Really don't need it? The opposing party circled him, trapping Han Yi in the middle. Although they were smiling on the surface, their threatening tone was evident. Han Yi frowned and said, Isn't this bullying your fellow disciples? Bullying? Don't make false accusations. We are wholeheartedly offering you this precious cultivation method for sale. One of them sneered. At these words, Han Yi finally understood. They were using the cultivation method as a shield, demanding spirit stones in return. This was because he had just read the sect rules. Disciples within the sect are not allowed to engage in private fights. To resolve conflicts, one could only go to a place called the Slaying Doubt platform for formal combat. Engaging in private fights at other places would result in dire consequences. If there is death, the culprit would be expelled from the sect and stripped of the right to practice cultivation. If there is serious injury, the culprit would be directly expelled from the sect. If there is minor injury, the penalty would be solitary confinement for seven days. 
Therefore, they weren't blatant in demanding for spirit stones, instead they found an excuse by offering to sell him a cultivation method. These were clearly seasoned players who had pulled this stunt many times before. Any novice who just joined the sect might be duped under the principle of avoiding trouble. They might decide to give in and take revenge after cultivating for some time. However, that was not how Han Yi thought. If you give them an inch, they'll take a mile. Furthermore, they would never stop acting out of fear. The cultivation level of these outer sect disciples was not high. Han Yi, who deeply understood martial arts, could see at a glance that these people were unsteady in their foundation. Only reaching the key cultivation realm by relying on the sect's elixirs, they were absolutely no match for him. He remembered that there was a provision in the sect rules allowing for self-defense in the face of danger. With this in mind, an idea bubbled up in his head. He stealthily took out his jade token and switched on its recording function. Junior brother, just give it to us. We won't trouble you. This method comes with a lifetime warranty. The soft-spoken disciple sneered. The other stared at the storage ring on Han Ye's hand like starving wolves eyeing a piece of meat. Han Yi said very seriously, you shouldn't do this, forcing a purchase is wrong. Seeing Han Yi still stubbornly refusing, the expressions of the others began to show impatience. One among them said, boss, anyway there's no one else here. Just snatch it and we're done, all we need are those spirit stones. What can that Shen Yuxiang do to us? It's not like we haven't done this before. 